Thermostat. Thermostat. Turn down the thermostat. It's so hot here, my mother says. She's sitting in a wheelchair near the window. The thermostat, the thermostat is a white plastic box on the wall. It has a small digital screen, two buttons, the shape of a triangle, plus and minus, a dial with tiny indentations, and the on-off switch. It doesn't work. The nursing home has central heating, but you cannot control it from the bedrooms. Are you my son or my grandson? How old are you? Are you my son, the one that lives far away in that faraway country? Why don't you want to have children? She asks me. It has been snowing all morning, just stopped. Look at the snow, she says, so clean. I am reading a brochure the doctor left earlier. Brain cells lose their ability to communicate with each other. Two abnormal structures called plaques and tangles are prime suspects in damaging and killing nerve cells. Let's go outside, my mother says. The park across from her window is covered with fresh snow. We cannot go outside, mother, in this weather, I tell her. At least open the window. I cannot breathe, she says. Plaques are deposits of a protein fragment called beta amyloid that build up in the spaces between nerve cells. Tangles are twisted fibers of another protein called tau that build up inside cells. Take your children to the park. Play with them, she tells me. Snow is wasted when you don't have children. Open the window, my mother says. I want to feel the cold. I don't think we can do that. You may get sick, I say. Who cares if I die today or tomorrow? Open the window, she says. Yes, for 15 seconds, I say. I hope they don't see us. I take the bed's comforter and swaddle my mother, wheelchair and all, like a cocoon. 15 seconds, I say. I open the window. The cool air enters the room like a giant, like an ice river. 15 seconds, I say, and we count together, whispering, and I close the window. Thank you very much. Wow.